There's a question that haunts many men in silence, especially after a certain age. It's a question that sparks hesitation, even when speaking to a trusted doctor. The question is simple and direct. Doctor, my intimate life, the frequency with which I practice self-love or am with my partner, can it affect my health? Can it be good? Can it be bad? And the most critical question, does it have anything to do with prostate cancer? Today, we're going to talk openly about this, without taboos, as if you were right here in my office, because what you do in your privacy can, indeed, directly influence your quality of life. Hello, I'm Dr. Grace, and today we're going to use science to uncover the truth about the relationship between ejaculation frequency and your prostate health. This small gland, the size of a walnut, plays a massive role in your life. Stay with me because the answer science gives us is truly surprising. To understand what's coming, let's meet our star, the prostate. Think of it as the heart of a complex orchestra. Located just below the bladder, its main function is to produce prostatic fluid, a nutrient-rich base packed with zinc, enzymes, and other compounds essential for sperm vitality. This fluid protects and nourishes sperm, ensuring they can perform their role effectively. But the prostate's importance goes beyond reproduction. It's a key player in a man's overall health, influencing everything from urinary function to intimate performance. The prostate doesn't perform alone. Semen is a symphony. The seminal vesicles contribute the main volume, an energy-rich fluid loaded with sugars like fructose to fuel the sperm. The testicles deliver the soloists, the sperm themselves, which make up the smallest part of the volume but are the most crucial. This mix forms semen, a carefully balanced blend that supports reproduction. Now, the grand finale, ejaculation, a process that unfolds in two stages. First, emission, where all components, prostatic fluid, seminal fluid, and sperm, gather in the urethra. Then, expulsion, where rhythmic contractions of the pelvic floor muscles release the semen. This process is a marvel of coordination, relying on a flawless conductor, the communication between your nerves, muscles, and hormones. Conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or prostate surgeries can disrupt this orchestra, leading to issues like erectile dysfunction or urinary difficulties. Why does this matter? Because the prostate isn't just about reproduction, it's a barometer of your overall health. Problems like an enlarged prostate, benign prostatic hyperplasia, or chronic prostatitis can signal underlying issues, from inflammation to hormonal imbalances. Keeping this gland healthy is essential for maintaining energy, confidence, and vitality as you age. Many patients ask me, what happens biologically when semen builds up? Does it pose a risk? Let's go straight to the science. There's no conclusive evidence that prolonged abstinence alone causes serious illness. However, flow is critical for the body. Imagine the prostate as a system that thrives on movement, like a river that needs to keep flowing to stay clear. When flow is low, stagnation can occur, which may lead to discomfort or complications, particularly for men with chronic prostatitis. In cases of prostatitis, a condition marked by inflammation of the prostate, low ejaculation frequency can worsen pelvic congestion, leading to symptoms like pain or pressure in the pelvic area. Science has observed that regular ejaculation can help alleviate these symptoms by clearing the prostatic ducts, reducing internal pressure, and promoting healthy circulation. A 2020 study in urology found that men with chronic prostatitis who maintained a regular ejaculation frequency reported less discomfort and improved quality of life compared to those with infrequent ejaculation. But the benefits go beyond the prostate. There's a surprising bonus for your brain, sleep. Orgasm triggers a neurochemical cocktail of relaxation, including prolactin, oxytocin, and endorphins. A 2023 study in sleep disorders showed that this release significantly improves the ability to fall asleep and enhances sleep quality. Better sleep means better recovery, reduced stress, and improved mental clarity, key factors for maintaining vitality after 60. For example, patients often tell me they feel more rested and energized after incorporating healthy, intimate habits into their routine, which supports both their physical and emotional well-being. Now, let's tackle the million-dollar question, the one that causes the most concern. Does ejaculation frequency have anything to do with prostate cancer risk? 
In other words, can ejaculating more be a form of protection? Science has been investigating this for decades, and the results are surprising. Before I dive into what the studies say, I have a quick request. If you think this information can help other men, please leave your like and subscribe to the channel. It's a simple gesture for you, but helps me bring serious health content to many more people. Thank you so much for your support. Here we go. The most significant study on this topic was conducted by Harvard University. Researchers followed nearly 32,000 men for almost two decades, tracking their ejaculation frequency and prostate cancer outcomes. The findings were remarkable. Men who ejaculated 21 times or more per month had a prostate cancer risk up to 33% lower compared to those with a frequency of four to seven times monthly. The key detail, the study found that how ejaculation occurred, whether through self-love or with a partner, didn't matter. The benefit was tied to the physiological act itself. Other studies, including a comprehensive 2018 meta-analysis in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, reinforced this. Higher ejaculation frequency is associated with a reduced risk of prostate cancer. For instance, a 2016 Australian study echoed these findings, showing a similar protective effect in men over 50. As a healthcare professional, my honesty comes first. These studies show a correlation, not a direct cause. They rely on self-reported data, which can have limitations, such as recall bias. But when multiple studies point in the same direction, we scientists take notice and ask, why does this happen? What's the secret behind this potential protection? While there's no definitive answer yet, the theories are logical and grounded in biology. Think of your prostate as a car engine that needs regular maintenance to run smoothly. The first theory is the oil change. Over time, impurities, toxins, and potentially harmful substances can accumulate in the prostatic fluid. Ejaculation acts like changing the engine oil. It flushes out old fluid and its impurities, preventing wear and long-term cellular damage that could contribute to cancer development. The second theory is the engine balance. Regular ejaculation helps maintain stable, healthy levels of hormones like testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, DHT, that act on the prostate. Hormonal imbalances, particularly elevated DHT, can promote abnormal cell growth. By keeping these hormones in check, ejaculation may reduce the risk of cellular changes that lead to cancer. The third theory is the car alarm. Like exercise, intimate activity boosts your immune system, making it more vigilant. A strong immune system is like a good alarm. It detects and neutralizes threats, such as cells with the potential to become cancerous, much faster. Research suggests that regular ejaculation may enhance immune surveillance in the pelvic region, helping your body identify and eliminate rogue cells. Finally, orgasm itself has a direct benefit. The rhythmic contractions during ejaculation improve blood flow to the prostate, reduce inflammation, and lower oxidative stress, a key trigger for cellular aging and damage. A 2021 study in European urology highlighted how improved pelvic circulation can decrease chronic inflammation, a known risk factor for prostate issues. But let's dive deeper into why this matters for men over 60. As we age, the prostate naturally becomes more vulnerable. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, or an enlarged prostate affects over 50% of men in their 60s, causing symptoms like frequent urination or weak flow. Chronic inflammation, often fueled by lifestyle factors like poor diet or inactivity, can exacerbate these issues and potentially increase cancer risk. Regular ejaculation, as part of a holistic health strategy, may help mitigate these risks by keeping the prostate active and reducing stagnation. However, ejaculation frequency isn't a standalone solution. It's one piece of a larger puzzle. To give you a fuller picture, let's explore other critical factors that influence prostate health. Diet plays a huge role. Foods rich in antioxidants, like tomatoes high in lycopene, broccoli, and berries, can protect prostate cells from oxidative damage. A 2019 study in the prostate found that men who consumed lycopene-rich foods had a lower risk of prostate cancer. On the flip side, processed foods, red meat, and high-fat dairy can promote inflammation so moderation is key. 
Exercise is another cornerstone. Pelvic floor exercises like Kegels strengthen the muscles involved in ejaculation and urination, improving control and circulation. A 2022 study in BJU International showed that men who practice pelvic floor exercises reported better prostate health and fewer urinary symptoms. Even moderate physical activity, like brisk walking for 30 minutes a day, boosts circulation and supports hormonal balance. Stress management is equally important. Chronic stress raises cortisol levels, which can suppress testosterone and weaken the immune system. Techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or yoga can counteract this. A 2024 study in Journal of Men's Health found that men who practice mindfulness had lower PSA levels, a marker of prostate health compared to those with high stress. Now, let's address common myths. Some men worry that frequent ejaculation depletes their energy or testosterone. Science debunks this. Ejaculation doesn't significantly affect testosterone levels, and the energy cost is minimal, equivalent to a short walk. Another myth is that abstinence preserves health. While abstinence isn't harmful, it doesn't offer the protective benefits of regular ejaculation for the prostate. So to sum up everything we've discussed, I want you to leave here with a clear idea. Ejaculation frequency appears to have a protective effect, but it's not your main prevention strategy. There's no magic number. Your true strategy, the one proven to save lives, is medical follow-up. Your action plan is simple. Visit your urologist annually. Get the blood test, PSA. Discuss the need for a digital rectal exam. This is taking control of your health. Early diagnosis completely changes the game against prostate cancer, with survival rates exceeding 98% when caught early, according to the American Cancer Society. Beyond medical checkups, adopt a prostate-friendly lifestyle. Quit smoking as it increases inflammation and cancer risk. Control your weight since obesity is linked to higher prostate cancer rates. Prioritize real food, more vegetables like broccoli and beets, fewer packaged products loaded with sugars and unhealthy fats. And please, move your body. Sedentary living is a silent poison for your prostate and overall health. For example, consider incorporating foods that support prostate health into your diet. Pumpkin seeds are rich in zinc, essential for prostate function. Pomegranate juice has shown promise in reducing PSA levels in small studies. Green tea, packed with antioxidants, may also protect against cellular damage. These simple additions, combined with regular physical activity, can make a big difference. Beware of those selling easy cures online, like miracle supplements or unproven therapies. Health is serious and requires responsibility. To help you take the next step, I've prepared a video explaining everything about preventive tests, like the PSA, and how to interpret them. I strongly recommend you watch it to stay informed and proactive. Thank you so much for your time and trust. It was an honor to have you here. If you learned something new today, help me spread this message. Leave your like, share this video with a friend or family member who could benefit, and subscribe. Every interaction helps me create more quality content and fight misinformation. In the comments, let me know. Have you ever discussed prostate health with your doctor? What's one step you'll take to protect your vitality? And where are you watching from? I read every response and love connecting with you. Take good care of yourself and take the reins of your health. Together, we can prove that aging doesn't mean losing your strength or confidence. Until next time.